Hi, my name is Barry Crampton. Today I'm going to show you around our BMW 5 Series, then I'll take you for a ride in it, but first I'll tell you a little bit more about it. It's a 2 litre 520D M Sport saloon, 2014 on the 63 plate, really good specification, done 64,118 miles, fuel economy, urban 54.3 miles per gallon, extra urban. 68.9 miles per gallon and combined is 62.8 miles per gallon a 0 to 60 time of 7.9 seconds a top speed of 145 miles per hour out of 184 brake horsepower four cylinder 16 valve engine has the chrome kidney shaped bmw grill front parking sensors xenon headlamps high pressure wash five twin spoke alloy wheels tilt and slide electric sunroof, the rear boot lip spoiler, reversing sensors, plenty of room in the boot, electric boot release and will also release from the key, rear centre armrest, the M Sport aluminium scuff guards on the uh, sill panels. Now it's, it's a really good looking car, um, there's the BMW keys, so long as you've got them in the on, on your person or in the car the vehicle will start foot on the brake and then and one thing I do like about BMWs is they, they put the knock this stop start button off right underneath it so basically you can start it with one finger and knock the stop start off with the other and do yourself a favor height and reach adjustable multifunction steering wheel so finished in dark blue metallic with this um, cream leather and this kind of checker plate pattern aluminium which goes right the way across the dashboard up the door cards and uh, up the centre console too. Uh, another thing I particularly like about this car and actually I might just need to switch it on. Ah. Yeah, <laughs> polarised lenses strike again. Um, it's got a heads up display on the dash. Hopefully you'll be able to see it from this camera, um, but it's projected onto the windscreen of the, the vehicle. So you don't have to look down. You can carry on looking straight forward um, and still see your speed. And also I'm pretty sure it gives you directions or shows you the, the sat nav directions as well. I, uh, I think the Millennium Bug has arrived 20, 20 years too late. Uh, all sorts of <laughs> trouble with my computers yesterday and apps and so on. And also cameras today just keep switching themselves off um, for, for no reason. The only thing I can think is my uh, iPhone and my Mac have updated to the latest iOS system and uh, there must be some conflict. So. It could be a bit of a hash of videos today, so please excuse me. I'll do my best. I think everything else is still recording. This one keeps going off. Yesterday it was that one. So back to the BM. Real nice cockpit area. It's got um, electrically adjustable seats. Electric door mirrors, electric windows as you would expect, um, auto headlights, we've got automatic which you can flip over like so and change up and down just using the lever. I'll keep back over to drive or we can overdrive with the paddle shift on the steering wheel. Then if that's not enough, we've got here controls for if you if there you go that all that changes if you click it into sport it sharpens you know god because i put it into eco pro it's it switched the stop start on again um if it hadn't been for the stop start i would have gone then
really nice engine, great gearbox. Seats are very, very comfy and, and the uh, colour combination is tremendous too. It looks really nice. Little lip spoiler on the boot. You've got parking sensors with optical display. Your sat nav there. Bluetooth hands-free telephone. Um, what I should have shown you before we set off was the service history, but the uh, camera's gone off again. It's uh, beyond annoying, I'm afraid. <laughs> Two minutes ago it was sunny, now it's raining. So if we click into menu here, well, the lights have just changed, but then go down to vehicle information. Fortunately, I can do this uh, off by heart without having to look. Down to vehicle status, click vehicle status. Turn down there to service required. to service history, click service history and it then tells you the what the cars had done to it. Stupid idea. Um, tells you there 22nd 9th 2015 19717 miles brilliant at BMW then a number 33512 uh, does that mean anything to you? Because it means nothing to me. And then you have to start ringing BMW to find out which dealer did it so that you can phone them up and make sure somebody's not just hacked into the computer there. Some of the nice touches I like on BMWs there, if you just press that uh, button in there, you can, you can bring the headrest forward. We'll just change this into that's comfort into sport there and you you see the revs jump and the car gets more responsive So that's cruise, and then if we set there, that's set to 65, 66, and that's 70, 70 miles an hour. Just going to overtake this trailer. I'm not hogging the middle lane. I think he's probably going a little bit fast with the trailer on, but uh, in my opinion. go in eighth gear 70 miles an hour 1750 revs it looks like we might be coming if I just put that in eco pro see what it uh, what it does to the revs I think I can dispose of my sunglasses now It 
in the front central armrest there you've got a USB in and also auxiliary in. Lovely, real nice finish. And uh, one, of the, one of the other things, I've mentioned it before in, in videos, but I do have a habit of doing this. When I, the first, before I come to work, the first thing I do is go and get a Starbucks and uh, an extra shot <laughs> venti latte. And if I put it in there, my hand catches, which it's just done again actually, my hand catches the traction control off button. So if you're a, a coffee drinker and you've got a BMW, be very, very careful. Make sure if there's only one of you, you put your cup in that side, because all you can mess up is your sat nav there. It's got Harman Kardon speakers in this as well. So, a uh, great sound system. Nice clear display in the oh, just let me get that straight not only does the stop start stop your engine but your wipers stop right in the middle of the screen so you don't know whether it's safe to set off Great steering. Oh, go through lights late much. school roundabout again it's 50 miles an hour lovely and quiet Great acceleration. Mud on the road, that's uh, good of the farmer, I've got to say. This, uh, this road's been resurfaced recently, but before then, if there's any mud or ice down there like a skid pan I was going to work one day I got to the top of the brow there and I could just see about five cars at the bottom where they'd gone over the hill and just slid on the ice all the way down to the bottom and crashed uh, I was in a Jeep and that was whoops that was still skidding and uh, that's not a good place to park mate And um, I was in a Jeep and I managed to <laughs> get up the, the courage to take my foot off the brake to, to stop skidding and I managed to turn left and go down the slip road without crashing into everybody else but uh, it was a terrible road. Oh my word, 
why would you be in the middle of the road? For what possible reason? It's a lovely car. I don't know what the video is going to be like at all, honestly. I can only apologise. I have to say I'm in uh, holiday mode to start off with. This camera here is, uh, I think, a week old. And one of the other ones that's, uh, that keeps switching off, that's about two months old. Okay, well, I'll finish the video there. And uh, th thanks for watching and uh, hopefully see you in the next video uh, according to the weather forecast here we've got something like five days of rain so uh, it's not been easy <laughs> thanks for watching gopros stop recording <laughs>